The Rainius is an uncontrollable submarine featured in Grand Theft Auto Online as part of the Doomsday Heist update. The vessel appears to be based on the Typhoon-class nuclear-powered submarine, having the characteristic rounded front end with horizontal diving planes. The vertical sail is located in the back half of the boat. It has a more square-shaped aft section and shrouded propellers. However, it appears to be much smaller compared to the real-life submarine. While not directly referred as such in-game, the vessel has Ramius and 2701 painted on the sail and tail as well as a Russian heraldic shield featuring a two-headed eagle and 1896. The name is an obvious reference to Captain Marco Ramius from The Hunt for Red October, also featuring a Typhoon-class submarine. Several Meriwether supply crates are scattered throughout the vessel containing rebreathers, health and body armor. The accessible interior of the submarine contains three decks. The nuclear reactor room provides connection between the missile room and the engine room. A large chamber with the nuclear warning sign marked above an unusable door can be seen here. The Hydra is a military attack jet featured in GTA San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto Online as part of the heist's update. It is the first military jet available in the Grand Theft Auto series. It is manufactured by Mammoth in the HD universe. The Hydra is suggestively based on the British Aerospace Harrier II, formerly known as the Hawker Siddeley Harrier, a well-known British fighter jet with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, with minor detailing from the F-16 Fighting Falcon and horizontal stabilizers resemble those of the F-35 Lightning II, such as the cockpit and air intake. The Harrier's influence is further proven by the cheat code that is used to spawn the jet in the PC version is the word Jump Jet, which is a nickname for Harrier jets. When in horizontal flying mode, the Hydra has the highest top speed in the game. The Hydra does not have any flares or other types of countermeasures against locked-on missiles that are fired at the jet, forcing the pilot to manually evade the missile. The Hydra is named after a Greek mythological beast, a nine-headed serpent-like creature that lived in Lake Lerna on the Peloponnese island in Greece. Sprunk is a carbonated lemon-lime beverage claimed in a GTA San Andreas radio commercial to contain 10 times the caffeine and sugar mixed with mercury, ether, and benzene, and packaged in fragmentation grenade-shaped cans. The company's slogan since GTA 4 has been the essence of life, and was also featured in the Manhunt series. Curiously, in GTA 4, Sprunk vending machines sell cans of orangutan instead, Sprunk cans themselves can only be obtained from E. cola machines. Sprunk is an obvious parody of Sprite. Sprunk coexists with E. cola, a parody of Coca-Cola. However, in reality, Sprite is a brand owned by Coca-Cola. In Grand Theft Auto V, E-Cola can say, canned under authority of the Sprunk company, meaning E-Cola is owned by Sprunk. The Sprunk sign in East Island City is based on a real-life sign for Pepsi-Cola located in New York's Long Island City. The name is a play on of Spunk, a slang term for semen. This is reinforced by the Sprunk motto, the essence of life. The vintage pistol is a weapon added in the I'm not a hipster update for Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. The vintage pistol is mostly based on the FN model 1922. It is a semi-automatic custom made engraved pistol with a silver color. It appears to be one of the oldest handguns as it lacks any Picatinny rail for attachments. The vintage pistol has mediocre accuracy and has one of the smallest magazine capacities in the game. It has slightly better damage than the pistol, however due to its low ammo capacity, it is not the greatest weapon to use in combat and is mostly a unique novelty weapon. It is available at any ammunition store after the mission Mr. Phillips for $3,450. In LA Noir, another game from Rockstar Games, there is a pistol identical to the vintage pistol with the name of FN Browning 1922. It bears a slight resemblance to the same engraved 1902 Colt pistol used by one of the mobsters in the film Public Enemies. The artwork for the I'm Not a Hipster update features a prototype version of this pistol with a more M1911 inspired rear end. LD Organics is a marijuana business operated by entrepreneur Lamar Davis in a warehouse located on Forum Drive in Chamberlain Hills, Los Santos, in Grand Theft Auto Online. Among LD Organics available offerings are a very strong premium brand which is not available in dispensaries, and a sativa dominant, company original strain. According to Lamar, none of his products are laced with foreign substances, stating that it is simply the high level of quality of LD Organics products which make them exceptional. When Lamar handed a package sample of some regular product to Franklin Clinton, Franklin, an experienced marijuana user, was impressed with its quality. Lamar had also obtained a mule apparently for making deliveries. The business was established by Lamar Davis at some point in 2021 after cannabis was legalized in the state of San Andreas, and shortly before the events of the contract update. Lamar is desperate to find someone famous to advertise his business, and even tries to get his old friend Franklin, and his VIP client Dr. Dre to promote his business on social networks, but he fails. 
The Gooch is a creature introduced in the festive surprise 2022 in Grand Theft Auto Online. It is based on the Grinch, a fictional character created by Dr. Seuss in 1957. The appearance of the Gooch would appear to be based on that of Jim Carrey's character in the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. A costume character, the Gooch will materialize in a cloud of green smoke and run up to a player and knock them to the ground, stealing some of their cash and snacks. The player must chase and kill the Gooch to regain their items. When killed, the Gooch will lay on the ground next to a gift wrapped present for a short time before it vanishes in another puff of green smoke and gooch laughter. The present will be left for the player to collect and will contain the gooch mask and $25,000, in addition to the return cash and snacks. If encountered and killed again, the same rewards will be given, except for the already won mask. If not caught within two minutes of chasing, it will vanish in a cloud of green smoke. Its name is a further example of Rockstar's innuendo humor, gooch being vulgar slang for the perineum. Bruce Kibbutz is a luxury automotive entrepreneur fitness enthusiast, and lifestyle coach. Bruce Kibbutz was born in 1977. Brucey occasionally mentions to Nico that he was once a fat loser that no girl would want to date. In the mission search and delete, he awkwardly claims that if he were gay, Roman would be in big trouble, but then quickly states he is only joking about being attracted to Roman. Brucey Kibbutz's appearance and personality may have been inspired by the character of FBS Doug from the internet series Pure Ponage. He is a steroid user and possibly a dealer of performance-enhancing drugs, something that has resulted in a few encounters with law enforcement. Brucey states on his website that he legally changed his middle name to Motivation and repeats multiple times that he is not joking. This can be seen on the Motivation tab of his website. Circa 2013, Brucey has become the spokesman for Bull Shark testosterone supplements. Despite claiming to have given up his obsession with cars in 2019, the Los Santos Tuners update confirms his import business is still in operation. Gerald is a character in the Grand Theft Auto series, appearing briefly in Grand Theft Auto 5 and as a main character in Grand Theft Auto Online. Gerald is referred to as antisocial by Lamar, which appears to be true, as Gerald goes back to his apartment soon after meeting the player. He appears to be a paranoid person with difficulty to trust new associates, as he hesitates to meet the player, and often tells the player to keep their mouth shut after delivering drugs to him. He is a quiet person, often saying short words or sentences like nice or all right when meeting or messaging the player. He is more serious than Lamar when it comes to business, and appears to get annoyed by him. In general, he seems to have a low opinion of Lamar and speaks badly of him to the player over the phone. Ironically, Gerald's apartment has signs that read no weapons and no drug deals. Gerald used to be overweight and owned a lowrider which was stolen and sold to Mexicans by Lamar. While Gerald doesn't physically appear in GTA 5, a Life Invader post can be seen telling Lamar to stay away from him. 